Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. What is good, my cosmic royal family? What is good, my soul family? I hope that all of you guys are doing well. Okay. I am aware that there is an echo in here. I'm um, recording in my dining room. Um, I just wanted to change the scenery real fast. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do something because I kind of like... Um, the piece in here as well. So I'm gonna try to do something to uh, come back the echo. I may just get, like get a microphone or something like something like that. Okay. So let me go ahead and clear out some energy before we get started with this reading. Also, for those of you guys that are new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. So that you guys can be a part of our Cosmic Royal family, okay? Alright. So, let's go ahead and get into this. Alright, Ancestors, Holy Spirit, Divine Family, Galactic Beings, go ahead and give me the messages for the collective. What do they need to hear the most right now? Okay? Alright. So, Thank you. Wounded healer. You guys got the segment energy the other day. Okay. So let me, I never read on the message, but I want to know um, because it keeps coming out. If you remember the last channel message I did, um, segment came out. So let us see. Okay. So segment is the goddess, goddess of wounded healers, um, temple warriors, and element is fire. So this is a fire element, okay? Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sigma is a fierce ancient Egyptian goddess of war, the sun, and healing. She's, she carries life force in her palm with the powers to create or destroy. Heal thyself. Um, with segment, segments guidance, heal thyself. Everyone, everyone gets your best except you. You are a healer among your tribe. Stop putting your needs last. Embodiment. When you decide to become the matriarch, take a breath. Wounded healers hold sadness, rage, and fears of brokenness. Being a warrior wasn't a choice for our beloved four, four mothers. They did. They did the best they could, but being a goddess warrior for us is knowing that we have the choice not to fight all the time. Deep dive questions. What are your swords and weapons? What are your swords, the weapons you use to fight? Like, what are you, what are you guys using to fight, right? And what are your shields, the ways you defend yourself? Dare to lay the burdens down along with the swords and your shields. God is decoration. It's safe to put myself first. So spirit is pretty much in this energy. One of you guys to put yourself first. You guys are fierce warriors. You are fierce protectors. Um, you you possibly come from a very powerful matriarch. Okay, of of, of divine feminines. Um, they want you guys to know that it is okay to withdraw sometimes it is okay to pull your energy back it is okay to shut down ground yourself spiritual maintenance is okay okay it's pretty much saying that a lot of times the healer needs healing and spirit is one of you guys to heal yourself because you are the wounded healer so this means you are a healer who may be who may be in need of healing at this time, okay? So they don't want you to forget to do that. They don't want you to forget to take time out for yourself to heal yourself. Listen to your intuition, you guys. You guys, it's, they're saying that you always put others before yourself. You, you've done that for so long, you know. And you need to take time out for yourself. Look at that soul forgiveness. You know, maybe you need to forgive yourself for, I don't know, maybe not not having as much time with your kids. There are two kids here, you know, or allowing 
allowing something to um, happen to you repetitively. Spirit is telling me that, you know, if you are a mother, your kids look up to you. So it's very important that you practice soul forgiveness. You know, don't allow traumas from early on in your childhood to um, take away from the experience of your this this motherhood or this fatherhood that you guys are in right now. And don't allow it to take away from your kids experience as having you as um, their protector. OK. In worthiness, you guys are worthy. This energy came out the other day, you know, so spirit is one of you guys to remember that they're going to keep bringing this up. They're going to keep reiterating this energy to you because you guys are worthy. You have more than enough. Um, everything that you need is within you. You are worthy of all of the good things. You're worthy of all the milk and honey, all the tea, all the cookies, all the sweet things that this world has to offer. You guys are worthy of that. You know, you have Maria Laveau, good juju. You guys remember, we talked about this good juju the other day, right? And I was pretty much saying how you bring so much luck and fortune to other people's lives. And a lot of times people don't realize how fortunate they are to have you until you're gone, you know? Um, how you bring that good energy into these people's lives, you know? So... Um, you need to know that you guys also still have this energy, this betrayal type energy around you. Some of you guys are needed to forgive yourself for allowing this energy, this dark energy to continuously betray you, to continuously pull you down the rabbit hole. OK, they're also wanting you guys to speak up for yourself on a matter of a betrayal. We're going to we're going to um, dig deeper into this because I want to see what this betrayal was about but speak up came right behind betrayal so they want you guys to speak up for yourselves all right so wow the wounded warrior this has got to be like the theme the theme of the season you know all my fellow warriors and healers you know sometimes we get wounded we get wounded in the line of battle you know and it's it's okay it's okay to retreat. It's okay to pull back, to lay your burdens down. Take your, your spiritual baths. Go outside in nature. Spend time with spirit. Spend time with God. Spend time under the stars. Get reconnected. Get, re, get plugged in. Because sometimes other people's drama and other people's issues um, cause us to like unplug. You know, and we, we get off our path. Don't let betrayal pull you off of your divine path. It's kind of like a setup type of energy, if you know what I mean. Other people's drama, other people's toxicity. It's like it, it, it pulls us off of our path and our purpose. So let's dig more into um, this reading and see what else comes out for you guys. I may get a microphone. <laughs> Because this echo is like, all right. But my dining room table is like really big, so I have more space. <laughs> all right, Holy Spirit, tell me more for the collective. Tell me more. Curtain call, wow. Whew. You guys are about to get the recognition that you deserve for closing the cycle out, for closing the curtain, okay? You guys have people in your life that they never wanted to, like, I'm here to apply for you. You guys deserve a standing ovation. Leo energy is here again. So this may be heavy fire energy in your chart or around you, but people don't want to clap for you. They don't want to celebrate with you and for you and, you know... But Spirit is saying that you guys are supposed to be in a spotlight. You need to reclaim your power. You need to re reclaim that divine energy that you have. You know, I heard claim to fame. A lot of you guys are, are destined to be famous. And these other energies, they notice this on you. You know, they notice that you have this good juju energy on you, this good luck energy on you. You know, um, blessings and abundance follow you wherever you go. But these haters don't want to, they don't want to celebrate with you. Some of you guys are supposed to be celebrities or you may already be a celebrity in some form. Yeah, slingshot. 
tension, strain, sudden anxiety, pressure, launch, stress, pull, and set in motion. Focus being forced in change. Spirit is one you guys to focus on being the change, right? Whatever you're doing in this life, especially if you are a healer, you're, you're supposed to be the catalyst to change. You guys are supposed to be of service, whatever you're doing. You know, it's not always about us. And sometimes we get off of our path or we're pulled off of our path by nasty betrayals, karmic energies, whether this is lovers, frenemies, family, karmic family members, you know, they don't want you, they don't want you guys to be pulled away from your purpose, you know. There's a lot of tension around you though. Someone is it this is either your energy I'm feeling or this person that betrayed you. This person tried to take a shot at you with this slingshot. Y'all have people around y'all trying to take shots at y'all. For whatever reason. But spirit is saying that they're going to regret this. This is going to be, this is like five of cups energy spilled milk. These people are going to, um, they're going to regret this energy. They're going to tell you that they didn't mean it. You're going to get apologies from these people. You know, for some of you guys, you have someone who put you in who tried to put you in this five of cups energy and regret and sorrow. But these people are going to want you to leave this energy in the past. They're not going to want you to speak up about what they did to you. I'm hearing because I'm I'm seeing leave it in the past, and we all make mistakes. But you guys, we can't keep allowing people to make the same dumb mistakes when it comes to us, right? I just heard crash test dummies. We are not crash test dummies. You're not going to practice with divine ones. You're not going to practice with the cosmic royal family. Yeah, you guys are the you are it's like you're the diamond in the rough. And this energy or these people, they never recognized this. They didn't see this within you until you pulled you pulled your energy back from them. Now these people are disappointed. There's an energy around you who wants to clean up what they messed up in this connection because you've already let them go. I feel like this person felt like you were complaining or this was just like a minor issue. You were making a scene or you were making a big deal, but no, you were not making a big deal. Your self-respect and your self-worth is worth, it's worth more than anything. This person did not make you feel like the raw energy that you are. They wanted to keep you trapped and confined with this caged bird type of energy. This is someone who's very possessed, possess, possessive. I can't talk. Possessive, my way or the highway type of energy, you know? They wanted to keep you trapped to them energetically by not speaking the truth, by not letting you know where you guys stood with this person. This is a very jealous energy. I just heard rebound. This person is out here dealing with a rebound right now as we speak. I take it that this may be like a lover. Yeah, Spirit is saying this person is for the community. You know, a lot of you guys have been nudged to keep it moving. Handcuffs is here. This person may be serving time. You guys, this energy keeps coming out. So this person may be going to physical jail or this person's going to some type of spiritual jail, but this person's going to be confined to their karma. This person is going to try to come back and apply force to you to get you to give them another opportunity because I heard... It's not that big. It wasn't that big a deal. It, it wasn't that big of a deal. It's like they want to downgrade their betrayal. They want to downgrade or downgrade or downplay what they did to you or how they made you feel. Like these are people, whether it's a lover, a friend, or a family member who wants who doesn't want to um they want to devalue your emotions, right? You guys have been praying for some type of new beginning and you're going to get this. Pisces energy is here. Gemini energy is here. Um, Sagittarius. Taurus is here. But something that you guys have been manifesting is coming in at the perfect time. You guys have a lot of abundance coming in. Like your work, your hard work, is, it, it's about to pay off. You're going, you're going to receive the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow that nobody else believes in. Nobody else is able to see because it's not their pot of gold. It's not their blessing. So, of course, they cannot see the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It's for you. Look at this. Black Widow is here. Again, there is heavy, heavy betrayal type energy around you guys right now as we speak. Okay? Heavy. Betrayal, warning, twisted. This is someone who is cunning. 
This is a very dangerous energy. This is letting me know that this is either a lover or a friend. Like this is somebody that's right there next to you that you don't even realize. This person is very poisonous. They're very low vibrational. But spirit is all over this because there's a lot of threes here. So the ascended masters have stepped forward to take care of you guys. There's three, 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 three here, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, these people want us to get you caught up and get you entrapped in, in some drama. This is a very cunning energy. And I feel like spirit has been trying to warn you, guy, warn you guys about this person for a very long time. Possible Aquarius that you're dealing with. Or you may be an Aquarius. Error element that talks about communication, gossip, and talking behind your back. Look, very catty ass energy. You guys have very catty ass energy or catty ass friends or frenemies around you. Spirit is saying, listen, you got to use your discernment on this one, okay? If someone could be mm, either they're aloof from you or you, you guys are aloof from this person, but this is my way or the highway type of energy, you know? Tell me more about this person, um, Holy Spirit. Who is this? Who is this person that is this? This is somebody you've ended things with already. Okay, this is someone who uh, was supposed to bring you some type of offer. Tell me more about who, who is this black widow? Very poisonous, very low vibrational, very toxic type of energy. I feel like spirit has been guiding you away from this person. This is a very selfish energy. They, they, they didn't want to share their emotions with you. They did not want to share their time with you. There was always something hidden behind the curtain with this person. You know, for some of you guys, this is a divine masculine energy in your life or a masculine energy or a father figure or an earth sign. Okay. But this is, this is the person that has been holding back from you. Again, the person that has, they were supposed to bring you some type of offer. This is somebody who's been moving very, very slow. This person lacks, um, they lack discerning energy. They lack judgment. This person can't think straight. They make piss poor decisions. Secrets. And they hold a lot of secrets. I'm hearing there's always something behind the curtain dealing with this person. Yeah. Four of Pentacles in reverse. So this talks about something being released. So this person could have released you. Out the blue, I'm hearing. Just walked away. They just kind of released the situation. Tell me what happened, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this person, they, so whoever this energy is, they took an offer back from you. But I'm hearing that the offer that they was giving you was small anyway. You guys, the emperor has a lot to give. You see what I'm saying? But the fact that he's coming out as this nine of cups is right here beside him, that he was being stubborn and he was choosing to withhold his emotions from you. He was choosing to be selfish with his with his emotions yeah ace of pentacles in reverse this person missed out on their blessing being selfish with you i'm hearing that you guys were blessed and the ace of pentacles talks about an offer from most high so this person um they tricked themselves out of their divine blessing when they did this to you they stole this person stole from themselves you guys are represented as the Ace of Pentacles, the ultimate offer from the cosmos. This person, they actually stole from themselves. This is how, the, how do you steal from yourself? This person stole from themselves and they have been up in their head every since then about this, this, this missed opportunity between you guys. This person is currently in some type of lack energy because I'm hearing if I don't have you, I don't have nothing. And they're realizing this. This is someone who thought they had everything. Yeah, they thought they had everything, you know? You guys are coming out as the Queen of Cups energy. Very intuitive, very loving, very nurturing, very kind, giving, expressive. You are very expressing of your love towards this person. How much you admire them. How much you look up to them. Yeah. You, pull, you gave to this person. You know, I'm hearing you overgave to this person. Spirit has cut this person off from being able to communicate with you telepathically. 
A lot of you guys may have blocked this person online or on your phone so they can't. It's like you're trying to stop this person from being able to view into your life. For some of you guys, this person has been trying to remote view into your life, like watch you spiritually. But spirit is blocking this person from doing this. For some of you guys, this is a spiritual partner I'm hearing. All right. They don't want me to use these cards. They want me to use these. All right, Holy Spirit, tell me more. You are here and now, the past and the future, and you are here. So a lot of you guys feel like you are stuck between your past and your future, where you guys are going, you know? And this person is in an energy of wanting to communicate with you, but they have been keeping their emotions bottled up. They've been keeping this communication bottled up. And the thing about it is you guys have actually found peace in your life. You prayed for most High to send you peace. And that's what you guys have received. It's this dove is extending this olive branch that is peace from most high. And now this person is in the energy of feeling abandoned, you know. It's like the more peace you get in your life, the more this person feel left out in the cold. The more this person feel abandoned um, on this journey with you, you know. Tell me about this communication, Holy Spirit. What is this message that they are they're, um, holding back, that they have bottled up right now? What is this? This person wants to tell you that they know that this is faded. They know that meeting you was faded. That you guys have some type of um, faded. I'm hearing that it's written in the stars. This person wants you to know that they know that it is written in the stars. And didn't I tell you that this person is observing you, trying to watch you? Look at this sneaky fox watching you. Right? This person is trying to snoop into your life. The spirit is, is blocking this person at this time because they're very disappointed in how this person handled this situation with you because ultimately you were a gift to this person and they absolutely robbed themselves blind. They stole from themselves when they broke your heart and they tried to create a missed opportunity in your life. They robbed themselves of a divine blessing. Okay? All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading just as much as I enjoyed giving it to you. I'm so sorry if the echo is bad, you know, but hey, I hope you got the message. Love and light. Peace.